All right, what's going on, y'all? So uh, this this video, I really want to um, talk or address the entrepreneurs that's out there. Uh, one of the biggest things that I actually see a lot of entrepreneurs go wrong at is when you actually come up with a great concept and you do not have that long vision for your concept. You do a lot of weird things to really, really pigeonhole yourself and your business. And then most times you actually cause your business to suffer and you don't even know it or see it because you're so caught up in this, this pigeonhole system that you put yourself in. You stunt the growth of your business. And in this uh, economy where it is incredibly hard to find qualified uh, candidates to work within your place of business, you don't have time to be, you know, oh, let me let me start this off. Let me, you know, get in front of the business and slow it down and from from growing. And, oh, you know, I know that uh, if I get into this, my business is going to explode. But I just need to get in front and slow it down. And, you know, if your business is not growing year after year, and I'm talking about major strides, um, you just effectively paid yourself for a job and you got a glorified title. Uh, if your business is not bringing in any kind of, um, you know, strong ROIs, you have a job that you have a glorified title. And it sucks to say, um, but it is what it is, you know, and I understand if you're starting out, you know, we all starting out, right? Uh, let's just say that, right? So, uh, you know, obviously it's going to take time for your business to bring in any kind of uh, income. But what I am talking about is that year to year, like you're 10, uh, 10 years in and you haven't seen no kind of credible income, no kind of return. And it's like, all right, hey, you need to look at something else, or, you know, because if you have placed that level of uh, work towards something else, then you would have been in a much more favorable position. And, you know, uh, sometimes, you know, even though you want to be in business, sometimes, sometimes, yo, look, there, there's some people that get in a business game and business is not for them. Uh, meaning that you're a person that, you know, operate a hundred percent in your feelings uh, you operate out of not being able to research or verify before placing that thing into fruition. Um, you don't know or understand the importance of, you know, uh, winging out, you know, a lot of your employees. You're just so happy to have a uh, a resume of sorts come across your desk and you want to hire everybody that say, hey, are you, you know, I'm looking for a job and you, you're you not going through the vet process. Uh, it, you know, if you're a person that don't have a solid structure uh, or systems in place, if you're a person that has to do everything and you don't know the value of delegating and you want to be the chief everything officer because in your little mind, you think that, you know, if I do the, the job of five people, I can save some money on the back end. You know, uh, a lot of this stuff, man, look, you get in your own way of growth. And that's what I'm talking about. And we could do, we could go so much further down that rabbit hole, but I just want to give you some ideas so you can actually look at how you conduct yourself in your business and see like, all right, uh, yeah, you know what? I am, I am trying to be the chief everything officer. Uh, let me fall back and delegate. Let me hire some more people that could take over my job that could put me back into position of being the visionary for the business, not the, you know, the executional hand, you know, um, it's, it's, it's so wild. And I see, you know, especially uh, with my job and and even before, because I've always been uh, within the business, the entrepreneurship uh, underworld. And, uh, <laughs> and, you know, I see I see so many people. Trust me, I see so many people in my walk of life 
and I'm 41 years old at the time of this uh, recording, um, where I'm like, yo, you got such a great concept. All you got to do is just tweak it like this, 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 do this. Why are you doing that? That's taking much time, resources, and money. Stop doing that. Do this instead, da, 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 da. And, you know, I'm not in the business of uh, consulting people, but I give people some, uh, you know, basic ideas to, to get over their, their hurdles or to see things from a different perspective. Um, and I'm like, yo, man, I tell you, like, if, if I wanted your business and if I had your type of business, I could be crushing that shit. Uh, but, you know, obviously I don't care about having or wanting anybody else's business other than what I'm doing now. But, you know, uh, this is some of the stuff that I see. And, you know, it, it kind of it kind of sucks on the back end. And, you know, this is where unofficially, I would say, unofficially, this is where uh, I'm a, I'm not going to do a full consultant level service uh, because that's a business thing in itself. But to marry that type of thought processes with uh Harry Chef again uh podcast where I could you know effectively show these different level of entrepreneurs where they're at all you gotta do is this some you know build out a, a slight strategy a little roadmap uh to to help them with their business if as part of the interview process but most importantly you know documenting all of that and then posting that up on these different um, distribution channels I have. And for other people that is not at that person's level, they may be starting out, they may be in that thought process of, oh, should I get involved? Maybe they could watch some of these uh, you know, interviews and get re-inspired or get inspired or be shown something in a different way where they're like, oh, damn, you know what I mean? Like, oh, wow, that's because you know, back in the day, we had a lot of, uh, how we say, like village elders where you could actually go and and really talk to to get advice. You know, the Small Business Administration got the SCORE program where they kind of do the same type of thing. A lot of people that started businesses, immensely successful, been there, done that. Uh, they put themselves up as mentors in the SCORE program of uh, small business administration. And based on what your business is uh, or what you're involved in, the SCORE uh, coordinators will link you with the, the entrepreneur that closely fit or are that was in that particular industry and was mentally successful. So there's a lot of components. Um, but the main thing is Never put yourself as a business owner in a situation where you only hear yourself with these ideas and you're not opening the creative door to be susceptible to other people's ideas uh, to, to make your thing better. I'm not going to say listen and do what everybody tells you only if it applies, but never be so fast to close people out. And if it makes sense to your short-term goal and your long-term goal, why not implement that? And this is how you grow. When you pigeonhole yourself uh, in a, a certain, or whatever industry you're doing your business in, and you get to that point where it's like, hey, I'm the expert. I'm not, I don't got to listen to nobody else. You are already lost. And I don't feel sorry for people like you. All right, y'all. I can't wait to jump back in on uh, Harry Chef Again podcast. Uh, I understand the algorithm now. Uh, my my stuff is already in the algorithm. It's booming. It's bustling. It's getting so... I'm talking about 20, 30,000 views per video. It's, uh, it's, going, uh, it's going ape shit right now. Love it. Love it. I'm glad I was thinking about this happening, you know, three, four years. I'm glad it's happening well within my first year. All right, y'all, I see y'all at the top. You know where I'm going to be at.